Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of company data synchronization in Tally Prime. You will also get to know the benefits, prerequisites, and the do's and don'ts of data synchronization. What is data synchronization? In your business, whenever you have multiple branches, you will need to synchronize the company data so that the masters, transactions, and reports get updated irrespective of the company in which the data was entered. For instance, you have a head office and regional or branch offices. The company data is managed separately, but head office maintains data of all branches. So, the head office requires updated data from branch offices. Or the branch office may need some data from the head office. In such a case, you will need to synchronize company data. Now, let's see some benefits of data synchronization. Data synchronization enables regular data updation in both the server and client company. This means that the data in head office and branch will stay updated. It's simple to configure and data gets synchronized in a single click. It does not require great infrastructure or a trained user. Using on-demand synchronization, you can also choose the days on which you need to synchronize the data. And in Tally Prime, you have the flexibility to choose the network using which you want to synchronize the data, be it static IP through which the data transfers or internet securely with the Tally.net feature. In addition to that, you can choose one-way synchronization or both-way synchronization based on which the data will be updated in server or client company as needed. You can also choose to synchronize only masters when they are created or voucher types as per your requirement. What's more, you can ensure that your company data in both the companies are synchronized and updated immediately after you save any master or transaction. There are some prerequisites for data synchronization. The first and foremost prerequisite for data synchronization is that Tally Prime must be installed on the site that wants to update the company data. Moreover, server and client or head office and branch office must have valid Tally software services or TSS subscription. If you are using Tally Net feature to synchronize the data, then any of the companies, preferably the server company or both the companies must have username and password as configured under user roles after enabling security control. You should also create separate companies in server and client company. If you copy the company and paste to the other side, data will not get synchronized as the companies will have same code, which is a unique ID that gets created when you create the company. So, data can only be synchronized if companies at both the ends have different code. And if you want to synchronize company data using static IP synchronization, then you need static IP in your computer. Alternatively, if you have a virtual private network, then you can synchronization data using static IP. It is also important to ensure that the same set of F11 features are enabled in the server and client company. Now, let us see cautions of data synchronization. There are some things that should not be done before or during synchronization that include Restoring or copying company data to implement synchronization at multiple locations. Copying the company data to a different location. Deleting server or client rules as configured for synchronization. Altering accounting and inventory masters, including the balances. Altering default names of voucher types. When you alter a master name or balance during synchronization, Tally Prime does not identify the master and therefore, the synchronization will not be successful. Now, let us see how to set up Tally Prime for data synchronization. Open the server company or the company created for the head office. Press F11 and ensure that enable Tally.net services for remote access and synchronization is set to yes. Now, press ALT plus Z. Data synchronization and press ENTER. Press ENTER on client or server configuration. 
The client or server configuration screen appears. You can choose the company to act as server, client or both as per the requirement of data transfer and the rules we will create in the next step. If you select none, then you cannot use this application to synchronize the company data and you can only use it for ODPC data exchange. Let's select both. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. This configuration is at the application level and will be applicable to all the companies. So, when you open the company of your head office or branch, it will act as server and client both and you can transfer the data as per your requirement. In the, the branch company, you will need to perform the steps for client or server configuration. Now, let's create synchronization rules in the client or the branch company. Open the company. Press Alt plus Z. Client rules. Create and press Enter. Enter the rule name. Let's say Master Rule. Under Rule Type, select Master. Select the method of sync based on your preference or available infrastructure. Let's select online. Enter the server account ID that you can get in the license information. Enter the company name on server. This is the name using which you connect the company. You can find or alter the connect name under company. Online access. Contact details. Under direction of sync, let's select receive. Now, set or alter configurations. The configuration screen appears. Ignore altered voucher type masters ensures that if there are some default vouchers that are altered, then they will not be considered for synchronization. Override opening balances is set now. Combine opening BRS or bank reconciliation statement ensures that whenever the data is synchronized, the values of bank reconciliation statement and server and client will be combined and you will get to see the total value. This is particularly useful when the bank account at the server and client side is the same. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration and then press Ctrl plus A to save the client rule for master creation. Similarly, you can create client rule for transactions. Press Alt plus Z. Client rules. Create and press Enter. Enter the rule name. Let's say transaction rule. Under rule type, select transaction. Enter other details. Under direction of sync, let's select both. The voucher types allow or disallow list screen appears. If you want to receive data only for specific voucher types, then you can use the screen to configure the same. Let's say you want to receive data for all voucher types. Now, set or alter configurations. You can set or alter the configuration for sending and receiving data of transactions. Under Send Configuration, you can select appropriate options. Synchronize Altered Transactions ensures that if there are some transactions that are altered even after synchronization, then they will get synced again to match the values. Let's set Sync after Save to Yes. You may want to synchronize only Sales Voucher after saving. In such a case, you can select Sales and press Enter. However, for this example, let us synchronize all vouchers. Exclude masters while sending is set to no. This ensures that if there is new master in the voucher, then it will get synced with the other company. Enable sync for deleted transaction ensures that if a voucher is deleted and then data is synced, then it gets deleted in the other company too. Receive configurations are similar to the client rule created for masters. 
press control plus a to save the configuration and then press control plus a to save the client rule for transaction now that you have configured the company for synchronization you need to connect the company through tallynet in case of online mode of synchronization the company at head office or the server company must be connected to tallynet services no need to connect the client or the company at branch to tallynet but it should have an internet connection press alt plus k connect and press enter you can see that the company is connected for online access now from the client system let us send the client rules to the company at the server or head office press alt plus z synchronize and press enter as you can see tally prime is setting up the synchronization and the rules created for masters and transactions and getting synchronized now let us activate the server rules in the company data created for server or head office press alt plus z server rule activate select the rule created for masters and press enter you also need to ensure that this company is created and not a copied one set activate rule to yes and press control plus a to save similarly select the rule created for transactions and press enter set activate rule to yes and press control plus a to save now let's create ledger and transaction in the company data of head office or server and see the how the data gets synchronized and updated in the company data of branch office let's create a ledger in the head office company press alt plus g create master ledger and press enter enter name and other details and press control plus a to save now open the branch company synchronize to get the data from head office press alt plus z and synchronize press alt plus g alter master ledger you can see that the ledger you created in the server or head office company is available here Similarly, let's create voucher in the branch company. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press Enter or simply press V on Gateway of Tally. Under Account, select Cash. Under Particulars, select the ledger and press Enter. Enter the amount then press Control plus A to save. Enter billwise details for the ledger. and enter narration if needed since we have enable synchronize after save the voucher data is sent to head office once you save now open the company at head office open day book you can see that the voucher you created is available here As you saw, Tally Prime enables data synchronization in such a way that the company data at your head office or client office gets updated as needed. All you need to do is ensure that the prerequisites are met. Follow some basic do's and don'ts and create the client rule in the client or branch company data and activate synchronization in head office or vice versa as per the nature of rules created for synchronization. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.